Good morning. Hey, everybody. Ah, oh, it's been a week, y'all. I'm just trying to um, recuperate, and then I got to thinking I need to do something for you guys here on YouTube, and <clears throat> I'm loving my new purple eye, and I'm loving my new makeup, and I want to share it with you. Yes, I do. And welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, yay, yay. Go ahead, like, subscribe, please. Okay, <laughs> yes, I am from Alabama. So if you're recognizing the Southern drawl that I have, yes, I have Southern drawl. And I'm telling you, this eye, look how big my eye looks. Just, just looking at my eye is so popping today. It is. And then I paired it, you know, with a little bit of color here. So, you know, girls got to coordinate. My birthday's coming up this week. I will be 55. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm going to be 10. No, I'm going to be double nickels. That's what I'm going to be. <laughs> Yay. I made it that far. I'm surprised. Ah, but today, today, see, I even have a purple cup. It says, hello, darling. <laughs> so welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. And please come back because I'm, I'm usually live on Sundays. I pop on here and do a little bit of you know, fun stuff for you. Today I did my face with BB cream and I'm really liking it. It's got a nice kind of dewy finish, but I kind of finished it off with a little bit of a little powder. Hey Cole, good to see you too, girl. I'm happy to be on here. Hello, darling. <laughs> so I want to show you how real quick to do this eye. Mm. Drink a little coffee there. Gotta have that, at least four cups in the morning <laughs> to get going. Yes, and it's Sunday too. All right, let me talk to you a little bit about these pressed, um, these new pressed powders by Unique. They come in quad palettes like this. You can create your own. You can create all the colors you want that you can imagine. I have this palette here that I love. This is what we're gonna use today. We're gonna use these three. I'm not using the blue, but we're gonna use these three, which is, um, this one's called Pessimistic. <laughs> Hey, Diane. This one is called Slick, which I love this color. It's kind of a pink rose color. And then this one is called Credulous. So Credulous is the beautiful purple you see on my eye. I just love, love, love these. Now you can get these. I know I'm mature eyes. These do come in metallics, okay? We do have metallics in these, but this palette right here is the satins, and this is a matte, and this is a matte. So, I got two mattes and two satins in this one, and this is the one we're going to use today, but there are some other ones that I have. I want to show you my perfect fall one. Isn't those gorgeous? And yes, I do have a metallic right here, metallic in this one, and... But these, these right here are some of my favorites. Fervent is this beautiful kind of a, I don't know, burgundy color. This is a perfect palette for fall. So you need to check these things out. <laughs> and I'll put everything in the description box below when I'm done. Because I can't do that before I get on here. But let's talk about what I put on the eye first. Eye primer. You must have eye primer. Um, and if you have face primer, I guess you could put face primer on your eye, but this one, this one by Unique has a little tackiness to it. And so it just really helps, uh, you know, any eyeshadows that you put on just stay better. They stay in place. But the beautiful thing about these, these right here is they're infused with primer also. So you're going to get like 12 hour wear. They're not going to crease. So, you know, it's going to stay like this all day. So what we're going to do first what I'm gonna put on first is the lid part, and then we're going to add the purpley part. <laughs> is that simple? <laughs> That's pretty simple. And I'm gonna use just a few brushes. You gotta have a few brushes, you gotta have tools. Um, there are some eyeshadows that you can put on with your fingers, but I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you have older eyes like me. And what I'm gonna use first is slick. I love that word, slick is like, slick and it looks great on your eyes too when you put it on we're also going to do a little special lip too at the end so stay tuned don't leave but here we go so what i recommend with the older eyes i have a lot of loose skin i am i have hooded eyes so that's why i bring the color up a lot higher so that you can see it otherwise you'd never see the color if i put it in my crease it would just disappear and you would never see that beautiful purple color but i am going to use a special brush today by unique that I don't use that much, but I have found I really like it here lately, so I wanna share it with you. So let's take, uh, this is my shader liner brush, by the way. This is Unique's brush. It's got the angle on the side and then the shader part. It's really tiny. <laughs> Just four cups, I need that at least. 
Well, <laughs> this is a great cup right here. It really is. I'm, I got a new Keurig, too. I bought it yesterday at Walmart. And so I'm, I'm really loving it. I did it for my birthday. I bought me a new, I, I had to retire the old one because it was just, we've had it for like five years and it was just time to get a new one. And I was excited this morning to use it because it's all digital, you know? <laughs> I figured it out anyway. So let's just tap this color on here. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind when you're working uh, and doing eyeshadows, never close your eye. Why you say never close your eye? because we don't walk around like this with our eyes shut. So <laughs> if you wanna see exactly where it needs to be, you need to keep your eye open. So if you see me looking down, I'm not closing my eye, I'm actually looking at where I'm placing this color. And I'm strictly gonna keep this slick color, I love that. Slick is gonna stay right there just on my lid. And see how light that is? It's very, very pretty. Satin can be your friend, even if you have a little crepe in this, okay? But the, the key is, don't swipe it. Pat it on, and that's what I do. You see me, I'm patting this on, because if you swipe it on, it's gonna show in every one of those little skin cells we have. I've done that, and <laughs> I don't do that anymore, so. I try to keep it. Let me shut my eyes so you can see. See how pretty this color is? It's very, very subtle. It's very, very light. You're going to have a little shimmer sheen, which is what you want. Now, this is the brush that I hardly ever use. And it is my unique, but it has an angle side here. It's kind of a fat brush, I would call it. And then this side has a sponge. And you can see what color I use right there. And we're going to use that color in just a minute. I'm going to use the sponge, and I'm going to use this side first, though. Now, this is the color I'm going to put Credulous on. This is Credulous right here. And I love, I never thought how much I love purple until this one. This is really, really pretty. Do you want to tap a little bit on? I always kind of tap it off just a tad and make sure I don't have too much because you don't want to start with a whole lot because you can't take it away. You can blend it away. But really with this look, there's really not a whole lot of blending I'm going to do. I, it, the, the colors just kind of blend together naturally for some reason. I, I, I think it's just the way these are pressed powders are made. They're just fabulous. So what I what I would recommend starting first is take your angle. See, I'm going to lose use it this way, not this way, because we're going this way. <laughs> and you're going to come right in your crease, and I just kind of like make a dots across to get my color right there where I want it to start going. Now see. See how hooded I am? You can't even see that until I'm going to bring it up, though. So here we go. So this brush is perfectly angled. And if you get too much, if you get too much on you, you think you have too much on, just blend it out. You'll be all right. You will. It will definitely blend. And what I love about this brush is I'm going to turn it, see? And I'm actually going to bring this color right down here into my corner. My corner, as my mother-in-law would say. She's from Maine, so she talks about the corners. Now, let's blend it out. I love these colors. They're so pretty, so, so pretty together. And you see, I'm just kind of doing a half. I'm, this is what's perfect about this. I can turn this sideways. I can dip it in this color tap it off on my hand, and you can come perfectly right here in the corner with this brush. I'm really liking it, and I'm really going to start using this brush a lot more. So I really don't know why I haven't used it before. Now let's take this other brush. This is a blending brush. This is Unique's new blending brush. And now you do have to kind of close your eye to blend. And what we're going to do is blend. I want to kind of blend these two together just a tad. Oh, I'll just love it, love it, love it. Now we are going to add, guess what? We're going to add pressed powder. Yes, a foundation to our eye in just a second because it's beautiful. <laughs> it really is. And it's so simple to go on your eye. And it's, you know, it's like a matte finish. And that's what you see right here. That is actually pressed powder. So I'm using our pressed powder, and you can see I use this a lot. This is the color Velour, and 
Of course, I have on BB cream today, but normally I would wear liquid foundation, this right here. And this is like a shade lighter than taffeta. This is taffeta, what I normally use. So let me find my brush that I use. This one here. This is another unique brush. I'm full of unique today. I love it. I love it, love it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this end. This end right here is, they, they say it's for concealer. Um, I do use this end to do concealer throughout here. You can see I have my great bags going on today. It's just, you know, until this weather changes, <laughs> I'm going to have bags. <laughs> I just do. I, I have allergies and it just, you know, works out that way for me. Okay. See how easy that is to put on? You just take it and go straight up and over and stay right underneath your brows. I didn't do a whole lot with my brows today either. I want you to know though, um, I've been using this lash, um, it's the Steam Lash Serum on my eyes. My lashes have gotten so long using this, but I've been putting it on my brows too. And I actually have hair going back because my hair stopped right, right here. And now I actually have hair all the way out. <laughs> so this is incredible stuff. I've been using it and I love it. I, don't, I can actually not use a stencil anymore, Cole. I don't have to use a stencil to do my eyebrows anymore because I actually have hair there now and I can follow it. So I'm amazed with that product too. And that's a new product. So everything is going great as far as that. I, I enjoy it. Putting it on at night and waking up and seeing, hey, I got hair there. And I'm, I'm talking about it's even grown hair through here too. So it's been a great, great product for me. So if you want to try that, if you're losing hair, uh, you're getting so much better with your brows. Girl, this, this right here, this is for your lashes. But my lashes have gotten tremendously long using this serum. I put it on at night before I go to bed. And then in the morning, um, you know, it's you wash your face. And, and I mean, mine have literally, within four weeks, have gotten so much longer. I can actually see my lashes now. But this, I started putting it on my brows too. Because I thought, well, if it make my lashes longer, maybe it'll make my brows grow. And it did. It's amazing. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more purple. We gotta have a little more purple. We're gonna add more credulous right here. You still have lash extensions. I do want to try. Oh, I'm scared of lash extensions because I've heard where people like, you know, when they come out that they, you lose some of your lashes and Lord, I don't need to lose any. <laughs> that would not be good. I'm kind of scared of them. So I've never done those and I've never used, um, false lashes either, so um, I'm, I'm strictly about 3D Fiber Lash Mascara and the new Epic Mascara, which I'm gonna put on in just a minute. Okay, now we're going to take the sponge and we're going to go down here in this color, which is Pessimistic. And I don't know why they call it Pessimistic, but it's a great color. <laughs> and we're gonna put it right in the middle, right there, right in the center. So we're adding some color here. You have a question, I'm having a hard time finding the right color foundation. Any suggestions? Well, are you using liquid? Are you using pressed powder? Are you using BB cream? And a lot of times it depends on, um, it depends on your skin type too. I have like combination skin. So <clears throat> I always recommend the clients who come and sit in my chair and I do their face. I love this liquid foundation right here. I do. Now I did a BB cream today because I was trying out a new technique and I wanted to see how it worked before I share it with everybody on Facebook this coming week. And because I combined like my BB cream, I combined a concealer and I combined um, a little bit of like a powder concealer all together and that's what I have on my face today. So this is the BB cream I'm talking about. This right here, this is BB Flawless. But this is pretty much like a tinted moisturizer. So if you want more coverage, you know, that's why I added concealer to it because I need a little more coverage. But I wanted a kind of a dewy finish. This right here is a liquid, but it sets like a powder. So it's a matte finish. So if you have oily skin, this is really good. Um, or combination skin. 
This right here just is beautiful. It's like a liquid gold and it goes on your face. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And comes in lots of colors now. It does. So the best way for me to determine somebody's uh, color on their face is for them to send me a picture in natural light with no makeup on. And then I can determine based on uh, the, the pigmentation in your face, the redness in your face, what color you need of this for sure. Because this, I'm really good at. BB creams, there's only like four or five colors of the BB creams. So BB creams are light to dark, you know? <laughs> and this one is kind of like in the middle, you know? It's bisque. I think that's the name of this one. Yes, this is bisque. So that's what I have on today though, the bisque is what I have on. But we gotta blend this color that I just put right here. So I want to blend, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend this direction because I want some of that purple to be on top of that color I just put on. So I'm blending it, now I'm gonna blend it back the other direction and blend this way and that way. And that way all the colors kinda of blend together. Isn't that pretty? I love this color. I do, I do, I do. Now. Let me go ahead and tight line while I've got this going. I'm using this. This is the uh, Precision uh, Eyeliner called Perfect. And it is perfect. It goes on so easy. See how that glid glided on, just like boom. And this is gonna stay. It's gonna set in about 30 seconds. And I'll show you, I'll come back and try to wipe it off. And you'll see that it's gonna be there. So if you have eyes that water, which a lot of us do when we get older, this, these are great. These do not run. And, and they will stay all day. And I, cause I wear literally, this is what I wear every day. It's, I love proper, which is a chocolate kind of brown and then perfect. So let's put on a little bit of perfect. And then let me tight line. I'm sorry, this is gross, but I have to do it this way. I can't do it. I can't just stick it up there. I have to pull my eye out and I stay as close to your lash line as possible. And the reason I like to tight line it's simply because I don't like liner underneath my eye. I have too much crepiness here, and I just feel like it's just too much. Too too much going on under there. So <laughs> less is more. I'd rather what I have is color, and we're going to come back and add some color. And what I try to do now is try like with this look. I started right here where my lashes started and went over, and that's what I'm going to do on this side. So. You do have to kind of close your eyes to do this. These will just glide right on. They perfectly slide across. And I'm not making any big, you know, thick lines or anything like that. I want it to be very thin going across. And then when you get in the corner, you can either just stop right there. If you have a really hard time with maybe some crepiness here or skin, don't go any further. Just just keep it right here in this corner. And you can darken it just a little bit. But I'm actually going to take it. See if you darken that corner and then you connect the corner. Sometimes that's all you need to do. You don't have to have a wing. See, I stopped it right there. But I can come in. I like a little bit of a wing. Just a dad. <laughs> so... I like to take it and just kind of flick it up. Not much, just a tad. And then I'll draw the line back to meet the other line. Just like that. Boom. And see, so I just have a little baby wing. But if you've got a lot of skin, and just think, if you pull this out, guess what? See that? See? It's out. It's in. It's out, it's in. That, <laughs> and that's what you battle against when you get older. So that's why I do baby wings, just tiny, tiny, in the corner. That's all you need. Seriously, that's all you need. And that's all I'm going to do with this liner. And now we're going to, hey, and I got this yesterday at Wally World. It's an elf, and it's a little smudger brush. Isn't that cute? Look how little that is. So we're going to take a little bit of credulous on this little brush here. And we're going to go underneath my eye here, right here. We're going to smudge it right underneath here. It is the perfect little tiny brush. I think I paid two bucks for this brush. And it's worth well the two bucks, that's for sure. Elf has some really pretty makeup, too. I, I have a, if you haven't seen it, I have an Elf tutorial on here where I did my whole face with Elf products. And it turned out really well. And I was shocked that I was able to find the colors. 
that actually worked well with my face because <laughs> I never used e.l.f. before until then. Oh, okay, there we go. Now I am going to come back and add some more purple right in the corner. And I think I dropped my brush. I hope I didn't. Maybe I did. Oh, no, no, drop my brush. No, I didn't. Here it is. <laughs> I didn't drop it. Now, right here, right here, we're going to start and come right over. I just like to darken that area. Once I get my liner on, I like to come back and do a little bit of shadow right above my liner, right there. Very, very pretty. Darken it, because I, I like my, I have very close set eyes, so I like the illusion of everything going out. So this is the reason that I do darken the corners, just, just a tad. Now, so pretty, I love this. I love this purple, credulous. I wonder who names these. I wonder if I could get a job at Unique, just naming colors of all the makeup. I think, I wonder what they would pay for that. <laughs> I need that job. That would be my fantastic job of my life. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit more, a slick here. Slick is gonna go right here in the corner. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of highlighter, not a whole lot. I like to brighten the inner corner because it does make us have more of a, an awake look with our eye. So let's take a little bit. This is this is a la mode uh, powder illuminizer. And it's white, but it's very, it's an iridescent. It's the color that it's called, it's called iridescent. And I t love this little tapered brush. I don't know where I got it from, but Somehow it's it's in my arsenal of brushes that I use. And I come right here in the corner and just very, very, very lightly put a little color in the corner. That's what you want. Now remember I was talking about the liner on my arm? Yeah, see look, it's not moving. It's not gonna go anywhere, anywhere. It's stuck. And I'm gonna have to get soap and water to get it off. Because I could put water on it and it's not going to go anywhere. But if you put soap and water on it, it will come off. So <laughs> you really need these liners. The liners are great, especially for us gals who have watery eyes and we can't seem to, you know, I have a, a one client that her, she was in a wreck and it had cut her eye and she just had, she just watered all the times and she could not find any kind of liner until these. And she uses this these to this day. So, all right, here's Epic. Now, you know, 3D is fabulous and 3D is a two-step, right? We're not doing fibers today. We're only going to do Epic. Epic is a brand new mascara by Unique. And... It curls your lashes. You do not have to curl your lashes anymore. I don't have to do that anymore, especially since they're a little longer now because of the Esteem Serum that we I showed you earlier. Look how long these get, how quickly, and they just curl. I've never had any other mascara like this that curl my lashes like this does. And they get very long very quickly. <laughs> and I get so tickled every time I use it because it is amazing and I, do, I say wow every time I do it but it is true it is a wow factor they get really long very quickly and here we go I got to get the corner my husband's sneaking in here hey Marky <laughs> he don't like getting on camera though oh well he could if he wanted to. I've done his face. There's a video in here where I did his face. <laughs> I did his nose. I contoured it. I did. It looked really good, too. He didn't think I could do it, but I did. He's a funny guy, and he always helps me out with my makeup. If he was, if he wanted to right now, he could sit down, and I could, I could, put, I could put lips on him. That would be too funny, though. He, he might not let me do that. But, oh, see how pretty? Oh, my God. <laughs> This is like fun. And you can let it dry and you can come back and add more. But the key to this, I think, to this mascara is this brush. It really separates your lashes and they almost look like falsies when you get done. They really do. And I'm just loving the fact that I have longer lashes and they're curling now. See, they curl straight up. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> and then you come underneath 
and I barely, 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 barely touch these with the mascara. I don't put a whole lot of mascara underneath. So, there's your eye look. Is that not pretty? Is this not the prettiest palette ever? Now, I have used the blue with it before um, and put blue underneath. So, if you want to, if you chose these colors in a palette, this color is called Cynical. Cynical is the blue, and it's a matte. So, don't forget, these come in quad singles. You, you will love them. I promise you, you will love them. Now, let's move to lips because lips is my favorite thing. Um, I don't have out my brush I need. Here it is. I love this It's Cosmetics brush. If you don't have this brush, it's very razor thin. Look at that. I'm going to use this on my lips. I know it's for your eyes, but I'm using it for my lips. And so I'm going to use uh, Posh Lip Liner today, and it is kind of a beautiful pink color, coral color. And we're going to line our lips with this. And then I'm going to come back. We're going to have a really neutral kind of lip because my eyes are kind of bold. And I'm going to pair a liquid lipstick with this. And you're going to see how you can create your own colors by just doing something simple with lip liner. I love lip liners. I love ours. They stay on for a long time. See, this is going to be some pretty color. Now, I've had a pimple right here, so I got a little speed bump right there. We're going to have to work over it. So here we go. Working over that speed bump. <laughs> it's a bump there. It's kind of hard to go over it. Okay, there we go. It just will not go away. I don't know why. I'm too old to have that. But there we go. Now, I'm not going to smudge that in. Well, I guess I could. You could do it just a tad. If you want to smudge it in, if the line is too thick for you, you can do that. Because they're going to set in 30 seconds, and then, boom, they're there. So I'm not going to add any more of this. Now, we are going to use this color called Sublime. This is Splash Liquid Lipstick. Beautiful. I do love it. It comes with a little wand, but there's always so much product on the wand. Um, if you don't use a brush, I just recommend using a brush with this. You, you just have, there's just too much product to use. Less is more with these. Do you want to put it on in a very thin layer? So this is why I use this brush. And I take it, kind of lightly get the color on here, and then I brush it on. Brush it, just like this. And then I'm going to smudge it in with the liner. So it will wind up having kind of sort of like a pink hue to it. That's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. Smudge it together and then come right back through and thin it out. You see I haven't added any more product. There's, this stuff is so highly pigmented. I'm going to add some now, though, because I want a little more color up here. And I try to put it, like, right over the liner. That's why I use this brush, because it's so precise. It's not when I talk, though, and try to do it. <laughs> there we go. Makes it really easy to do the corners. Let's do it on the bottom down here. you got to get right here. fun color. Yes, yes, yes. This is such a pretty color. This is called Sublime. I'll take it right down there on that line and right across. Now, I just think the two colors are pretty together and I am going to kind of press my lips together and then we're going to add a little bit of lip gloss. So this lip gloss is called Lucid, and it is a rose gold. It's very pretty and very light. And so what I'm gonna do is take and just follow the line right around my vermilion border right there, and in the center, we're not putting it all over. We're just putting it top and bottom right here. And this will give you a really pouty kind of look. It's become one of my favorite ways 
to do my lips here lately. I really, really like it. And you just kind of move it around. Make sure you come back. Ah, and you have just a little bit of sheen in the center. And then you have this really pretty color that you created. So you can do that with just about any colors. You could take Sublime right here would go with anything you want to put on. Actually, it's, it's a very, very light tan color. So it doesn't matter what you pair it with. You could pair it with a, a peachy color and it would be beautiful. So, hey, just depending on what you want to wear. But this is my look for today. So we're headed out. We're going to go have an adventurous kind of day. I hope you guys have a great day too. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Here's our look. And hey, this is from Alabama to you guys. Y'all come back. Now on Sundays, I'm here. So you just come back and join me and we'll do something different next Sunday, okay? So I'm fixing to head out. You guys, if you have any questions, just comment. Because the comments you actually make on here, they don't stay. So if you really do have a comment that you want me to address, do it after I finish this video and then, then I can answer your question, okay? Because they, for some reason, it's not like Facebook. They dump the comments that you make during this video don't stay. So maybe that's something they need to correct because <laughs> I can't go back and see your comments that are there. So all right, guys, I will see y'all later. Bye.